Thank you. Welcome, bio, or Science uh, 30s, to lesson number four of the biology unit. This is where we are going to have a full-on lesson of the human heart. And uh, thanks to Mr. Cooper and Mr. Gachui, once again, um, we are bringing the dissection to you um, to uh, take care of uh, you people being having to be isolated at home. So here we have a body and we've got a heart that's inside this body. And what we are going to be looking at is um, uh, your job is to learn the structures and functions of uh, four chambers, of uh, four blood vessels, and of two sets of valves. And we're going to try and do this with this lovely little hands-on demonstration of a dissection. So right here we have an adult pig heart and uh, we're going to demonstrate for you now how you can find uh, the four chambers and the four blood vessels. And so we're going to do what's called an external view of this organ. So if you can see right now, um, this blood vessel on the outside of this heart is running downward and to the left. It's different than on this side because you can see it kind of branching off here. These are cor uh, coronary arteries but this is the pair of coronary arteries that we're interested in to help us get the proper dissection so that we can um, view all the chambers inside. So you want the coronary arteries sloping downward and to the left. And what that means now is if I were to look at this blood vessel, I can feel an empty chamber in here. This is the right ventricle, all of this muscle. And down here, I do feel a chamber, but it's definitely thicker walled. And this whole section here is known as the left ventricle, which means these little sacs, flattened sacs up top are called your, these are the two atria. So this is what looks really different than a textbook picture. This is going to be the left atria that's sitting on top of the left ventricle. And here you have the right atria that's sitting on top of the right ventricle. So um, what I'd like to take a look at now is I'm gonna rotate the uh, heart um, counterclockwise first. And what that's gonna help me do is to guide you so that you can see the blood vessels that are either coming out of or emptying into each of these uh, chambers. So I'm on the right atria right now, and this yellow pin is demonstrating to you the, the uh, superior vena cava, and it's got the yellow pin in it. So you can see that it's a thin uh, blood vessel, and it's emptying into, you can definitely see it emptying into the right atrial chamber. If I rotate clockwise now, in the middle here, in the middle here are gonna be the two main arteries. And this artery, so he's pinned blue, um, this artery is coming off of the right ventricle. So this is the pulmonary artery that you can see coming off of that chamber. And um, it's gonna split into a left and right lung. So that pulmonary artery will branch off. And then this artery in the back, and he's pinned black, this, and I can absolutely feel all the, or hear all the comments. Guys, I've heard it all. But this is going to be, and this is one of the most spectacular dissections I've ever had um, where you can see the aorta. So this is the descending aorta. And like I said, guys, I've heard all the jokes here. So I, I, I'm, I'm sure that just, you're just having a gas right now. These are the two, um, these are the aortic arches that are branching off to the brain. This is going to come down behind the heart and go down to the legs. So this big artery here <laughs> is your aorta. And you've got this artery here that is going to be thinner walled. So even if we were to take a look at the um, thickness of the two walls 
Um, this one's thicker walled than this guy. This is your pulmonary artery just going to the lungs. This is the aorta that's taking blood to the entire body. So it has to be thicker walled because it's going to handle a um, great deal of pressure. All right, so I'm going to keep rotating clockwise. We're now on the left atria. Or so, yeah, sorry, we're on the left atria. And um, this white pin, this white pin is emptying into... Uh, the left atrium so this all it is is an opening we do not have the blood vessel because it's been um, to remove this heart from the animal they had to cut it that close this is a pulmonary vein that is coming back to the left atria this opening right here where the steel pin is is the inferior vena cava opening and I can tell that because if I were to stick um, uh, if you can see it's coming through sorry it's coming through um, the superior vena cava here. So here's the lower um, vena cava. Here's the upper vena cava. This is coming from the trunk. This is coming from the head. And we're back to uh, the front side again. So we're going to pause the video at this point. Um, these are all the external views um, of the heart. We've got the four blood vessels up top. And we've got the four chambers down below. You've got your two atria on, uh, sitting here that are deflated because there's no blood in this. And then you have your two ventricles. So we'll take a pause for, this, for a second here. And now what we're going to do is, is dissect this heart so that we can do a view of the internal structures. So I just remembered something, people, before I move to um, actually dissecting, doing the internal dissection of, uh, of this heart, I just wanted to draw your attention because this actually is probably one of the best uh, specimens that we've ever had in terms of how close it matches uh, the blood vessels that you see in a diagram. Um, in your diagram, you literally will see, and uh, again, I mean, we'll save, all, crack all, we'll save all the jokes here for later, but um, you literally will see the aorta running over top of the pulmonary artery here. And uh, as I mentioned, we've never had a specimen that uh, clearly shows the orientation of these blood vessels. So here's the right ventricle and the pulmonary artery is uh, emanating off of that. And you do have, um, so this is gonna branch off into one lung and then there's another opening that's right here that's gonna branch off into the other. And again, this is only going a short distance. So the thinness of these blood vessels, these arteries, um, dictate the distance that the blood's traveling, which is not far. It's just going from the heart to the lungs. Here, with the aorta, um, it's got that, that um, uh, curve to it, and it's over top of the pulmonary arteries. So this aorta is now running down to the trunk, and then this is heading back up to the head region, which I did claim before. But I do want you to take a look at just how uh, much blood and pressure the, all of this in this chamber here is your aorta and branching off so that it can deliver all this wonderful good blood, rich in oxygen, rich in nutrients um, to the various tissues of your body. So at this point, we will officially pause and uh, we will now begin the, in, the uh, dissection so that you can see the internal structures. Two. All right, so now what I'm gonna show you is um, I have a second heart uh, again, this is of an adult pig, and um, I'm going to show you the proper technique in order to um, carry out a dissection here um, with, uh, so that we can see all the internal chambers um, in a sagittal view. So I take a butcher knife, and I start, so again, the coronary artery is facing downward and to the left, so it's nice and flat, and I start at the apex of the ventricles here, and I do a sagittal cut all the way up until I reach the base of the atria. And when I open up the heart, um, this is what I see. So I'm going to rotate it around here because this side um, gives us a better look at the chambers. And um, here's where we are going to be able to identify all the individual uh, chambers inside this heart. So starting off, you clearly can see um, a difference in thickness with the chambers. So take a look at how thick this side is compared to this side. This is a chamber I'm talking about. 
and this is a chamber I'm talking about. Now remember, it's all going to be 360 degrees. So we opened up this chamber. And over on this side, we opened up this chamber. These are the ventricles that we're seeing on both sides. These are the ventricles. And the atria are sitting up top, which I haven't really cut into, but that will be one of the atria. And over on this side, which is harder to see, I have the other atria. This is going to be, the smaller chamber is the right ventricle, which makes this the right atria. Here's the left ventricle and there's the left atria. So if I do this, um, here's what I've got. And I'll just take a second here for you to um, sort that. So up top here, we'd have the right atria inside, and I'm gonna have the left atria way inside here. Okay, so there's our four chambers that are identified. All right. So now, um, what I want you to see is dividing the left side from the right side is this big muscular uh, structure right here that's known as the septum. And that's keeping uh, deoxygenated blood, which is rich in carbon dioxide on this side, separate from the oxygenated blood that's in the left chambers, which is going to be on this side. And keeping the blood moving in a uh, circular direction so that there never, ever, ever is any backflow are these flaps here, which are known as your valves. So between the atria and the ventricles are your AV valves. So they are known as your atrioventricular valves. You can see that here. And then there's one up on the top here. So there's three flaps on this side. And then you've got uh, a flat, a uh, AV valve here, and you've got your AV valve on this side. And if I close this up, they're pointing downward. So when these ventricles contract and push blood out through the two arteries, um, these valves are going to close shut, and that's one of your sound, one of your heartbeat sounds uh, that you can pick up with a stethoscope. The second set of valves are going to be these guys in here. These are your semilunars. So it's, uh, again, these are tissues that you can, flaps of, of uh, tissue that are going to prevent backflow. Once they're in the two atria, the pulmonary atria or the aorta, um, they cannot, the blood cannot backflow into these ventricles. So you have um, the semilunars that are sitting on this side as well. Now, these semilunars are different than the AVs. The AVs have to be held together with these tendons. Um, the semilunars do not. You notice that the uh, diameter of the AV valves are much bigger than the diameter of a semilunar valve. And if we follow through, and I don't mean to be, um, uh, if we follow through with some of these, um, uh, with this semilunar valve, you can see it's coming, this is coming out the aorta that's going up to the brain. So this is the aorta that's in here and that's where my finger is. And um, it's showing you that this is going, blood is going from the left ventricle through the semilunar valves into one of the arteries. If we go through um, the right ventricle, I will come into this vessel. You can see my finger right here that's gonna be the pulmonary artery. So it's going through the other semilunar valve is over in this side. So just to recap, you have your two ventricles. This is the right side, this is the left side, and you can tell by the thickness of the walls. You have the septum, the two atria are up top, there's a, a AV valve, and this is your semilunar valve that's running into the two arteries. And that completes our dissection of the heart, and I hope that that helps you um, understand the four chambers, the four blood vessels, and the two valves to help you understand blood flow going through a heart. Have a great day, everyone.